in the shadows any longer. It's time I stepped into the light. I have to be ready. Even I have to hope. I hope you can make every... short. Hello, welcome. Hmm, business. It is, thank you. Word of our shop's special flavor has quickly spread through word of mouth. This city is known for its gourmet restaurants, but none can hold a candle to the chefs we have assembled in our kitchens. The best chefs in the city, huh? Blackley mentioned his missing fiance was a great cook. I wonder. Ma'am, is there some... I hope so. I'm looking for someone by the name of Filiana. According to her fiancé, she was a fantastic cook. Does this ring look familiar to you at all? Oh, yes, yes, of course, I recognize that. The woman was a wonderful cook indeed. Though the strange thing is, I never knew her by the name of Filiana. She may have assumed another name. Was the woman you knew beautiful enough to turn the head of every man in the room? Hmm, now, this is taking quite an odd turn. She was no doubt a very handsome. I suppose she must have been beautiful enough to turn heads one. Of course, we are all old now that we don't age, but she must have been quite elderly. An old woman? I suppose that... Where is she now? I'm afraid I don't know. The lady in question fell ill and left our restaurant. I believe she moved to Luxarian to live with the support. Do you know how to reach her? Unfortunately, I don't know that woman's name or anything else about her. She was a young woman, and if I recall correctly, wearing a rather unusual hat. Perhaps she was... I see. Blackley's ring ended up on the finger of a beautiful, but it's possible Filiana sold the ring. I'm not looking forward to telling Blackley about it, but he... shortly.
positively astounding. Where is it? Goods are something else. <laughs> you really should know your limit. Lackley. Hey, wake up. Excuse me, but who are you? And how is it you know Lackley? I don't know him too well, but he asked me to find his lost fiance. I've come to tell him about this lead I've found. About Filiana? But where did... At a restaurant in Yusnan. Apparently, there was an old woman working there who wore the same ring that Lackley gave to his fiance. And when her health failed, that woman went to stay with a friend who lived in... Huh. What, what is it? Is there something wrong with my hat? According to the man I talked to at the restaurant, the friend who came to pick up the elderly lady was wearing an unusual hat. You seem familiar enough with Lackley. You also knew Filiana's name. Was it you? <sighs> Let me explain. Lackley and Filiana and I are friends from long ago. I'm Sila. And yes, I'm the one who escorted that old woman from the shop in Yusnan. Care to tell me why? Sure, but can we go elsewhere? I don't want Lackley to hear this. There's a graveyard with no name. You know of it, don't you? It's beyond North Station, on the outskirts of town. <laughs> oh, oh, good. He's still asleep. I'll never forget the days I spent with my baby. Never. for coming. Before I tell you anything, can you promise you won't pass this information on to Lackley? That depends on what you have to say. <sighs> I suppose that's fair enough. I hardly know where to begin, though. Um... How about I start, then? The old woman working at that restaurant in Yusnan had the same ring as Lackley's, the same as his fiance's. Why? For the most obvious reason, of course. That old woman was none other than Filiana. The person Lackley's been trying so hard to find. After she left him, she began working under a fake name. That's surprising. The way Lackley described her. Well, she's not what I expected. He wasn't lying. She was a real beauty, once. We don't know how or why, but something happened to her. In this world where everyone stopped aging, she was the one and only person who managed to grow old over the past years. It began right around the time she and Lackley first got engaged. But why? Why would it be possible for one person alone to escape the stasis in this world? And are you saying that's why she left Lackley and disappeared from his life? She said the last thing she wanted to do was become a burden to him. But I know she missed him. 
She always wanted to know how he was doing. She loved nothing more than hearing stories about him, no matter how banal they were. Back when she could still walk, she told me how she would sometimes pass by him in the streets. She never said anything to him, and he never could have guessed that the old woman he saw was his beloved fiancée. That's why he never found her after all this time, no matter how hard he searched. Yes. Year after year, she aged more and more, and her body began at last to fail. She's free from that pain now. Finally. I see. I'm glad she was able to find peace. No! No. Lackley! I wouldn't have cared how old my Filiana looked! I loved her with every fiber of my being! My only wish was to spend every day with her until the end of the world! Filiana, why did you have to- Lackley. Lackley. Sela, I don't want you to worry about me. Remember what you told me before, when we met? If there's still hope in this world, maybe I'll find Filiana, right? Yeah, I remember saying that. So now I've just proven there's no hope. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying I need to find my own hope for me. I can't wait around for any god or savior. And even if my hopes get dashed, or they never come true, at least in my heart I'll know she's watching over me from somewhere. I'm done being a fool who runs to the bottle every time something goes wrong. That's not me. I want to show Filiana wherever she is that I'm still the man she fell in love with. The man I used to be. That's what she would want. Could you give me that ring? Here. Thank you. You've... <laughs> You've helped me find some hope of my own while I was supposed to be looking for yours.
Try something? We're here for... Will you be taking a room? 